and welcome back to Rooks County and uh, Stephen Biggie, who is the uh, chairman of the Kansas Grain Sorghum uh, Commission, is uh, with us this week. In fact, we're on his farm. He's just ready to wrap up uh, the fall harvest. And uh, as we've talked about, harvest has gone overall pretty well. And so that means planning and uh, preparing for next year. And one of those things that the sorghum industry here in Kansas will be doing is having a series of round tables to really uh, get to the minds and, uh, and hearts of producers uh, looking moving forward with sorghum in Kansas. Yeah. Um, Kansas Sorghum is going to be hosting a series of round tables throughout the state. The uh, one in here in our area is going to be at Hayes um, here the first part of December. Uh, the purpose of those round tables is to uh, hear what sorghum producers are thinking and what sorghum producers feel are important for their operations and what they need to to be successful and and what we need to do as a as an industry to provide them value and one of the things that sorghum does and uh, of course well if folks don't know Kansas is the leading sorghum producing state in the nation and you have a leadership program and uh, I many Kansas have taken part of that of leadership sorghum and uh, the next class is already ready to be finished up. Yeah, um, I was part of the initial sorghum leadership class. Um, it's sponsored by the United Sorghum Checkoff. Um, it's a program that's set up to uh, give producers a wide view from everything from the seed industry to exports to um, domestic feed use and things that way. Um, and they're just wrapping up. The, they're going to have graduation here in December um, for this current leadership sorghum class, and um, it was it's a great program. It uh, gives you a lot of information as far as sorghum production and and markets and things that way. Uh, and if anybody would have any interest in that, I would encourage them. There'll be another class starting soon. Encourage them to reach out to. Um, United Sorghum Checkoff or Kansas Sorghum Commission people and um, we can get you the information to how to apply. You can learn an awful lot about it. You know, it's one thing to produce it, but kind of everything that goes on the other parts of the yeah. year. Well, and, and the one good thing about the leadership program, like I said, I was a class one graduate. Um, I used it as an opportunity to step in, get on the Kansas Commission. Um, through the time, ended up as chairman and uh, six years ago when I went through that program, I wanted to told you I'd have been in the position I am right now, but um, I felt really comfortable coming into my commission seat having gone through that program and and the information I got out of it. Now, before we let you go, people are going to say, well, you didn't ask him about that one question. Of course, as we're talking, we're still, <laughs> we're so close to getting a couple of trade deals done that could mean finally good things for, for sorghum, especially we look to China. The, and that's that's one of the big things that I mean everybody's talking about is trade and uh, we're looking forward to the 17th here to see what what comes of that. Um, I personally hope it works. I've I've got some sorghum bin that's not priced and I'm I'm hoping that we get a trade deal and we can see an in increase in price and um, even with some of the the programs out there to help the farmers in this time with the the trade issues and stuff we. We need every dollar we can get right now, and um, I think it, with time the trade will come and, and we'll benefit long term. All right. Stephen Biggie, who is a farmer from Rooks County and the current uh, chair of the Kansas Grain Store Commission, has joined us. Actually, we've joined him from his farm in Rooks County. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.